Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and uh, we need to talk about something for a moment. You may have noticed that my schedule of posting videos have been a little off. Normally we do two videos a week, one on a Wednesday and once again on a Saturday. But for the past month, we've been dealing with a lot, especially in our household, that has caused me to go ahead and have to change that schedule around just a little bit. Sometimes being one video a week, sometimes being off, maybe on a Sunday or maybe doing something on a Thursday. And I figured a lot of you guys are my patrons on patreon.com. You definitely deserve some kind of answer why. And so today I want to talk about this. This means a lot to me. So if you have a moment, please go ahead and stay with me. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So for those who actually follow my personal pages, you would know that my wife is actually Ukrainian. And by saying that she's Ukrainian, she actually just became a US citizen about five and a half weeks now. So when the war first started breaking out in Ukraine about a week and a half ago, things have really went sideways in my household. You see, my wife's town, uh, just like every other town in Ukraine, had to prepare for war. And so every single day since then, we've been doing so many different things to help support them. Whether that's raising money to buy helmets, to buy bulletproof vests, to go ahead and get boots, to put gas in tanks. And yes, we actually put gas in tanks and a couple other things. So we've been on phone calls constantly, whether it's with senators, congressmen, whether it's calling the local pizzeria down the street to see if we could do a fundraiser. And we've raised somewhere close to $16,000 to donate to her town. And we've done so many amazing things. Even We've even donated baby formula, you name it. We're getting night vision goggles. So many things to go ahead and help out her local military. Now, where they're located in Ukraine, I don't want to give the exact location, but they're located right on the border where Belarus is. And every single day, they have to keep going into their shelters or their bomb shelters underneath their houses because they hear rockets or they hear missiles going by or they hear some kind of airplane. It's unbelievable how, like right now, I can stand outside and not have a care in the world. Now, why do I bring this up? Because you know, we do all the Wawit stuff down here, you don't really realize how many Ukrainians are down here. I mean, we're currently outside the North Wawa Community Center, and there's always a Ukrainian flag flying, but right now it's flying by itself. Throughout the entire island, my wife and myself have counted somewhere in the realms of 16 different Ukrainian flags. Everything from billboards on City Hall and Wildwood to some on churches. Heck, Maurice Pier has even put a Ukrainian flag on their Ferris wheel. And I have to say, the sense of community is just absolutely amazing. You have no idea. You know, when we first saw the Ferris wheel, we started to tear up because you don't realize how many people love that country and how many people want to help and do things. So now a lot of people ask me, Joey, what can we do to help? Is there anything we can donate? Is there anything that we can go ahead and get together? Well, there's a few different things you can do. And so let's go ahead and break them down. One is, I know a lot of people like to donate to UNICEF and the Red Cross, and you could totally do that, especially if you want your tax credit. I personally always like to see where my money goes. So like, for example, if you were to donate to me and my wife, we tell you what we're buying. This past week, we actually bought 60 different medical bags for her town. And next week, we're doing bulletproof vests. So every single week, we're doing something different. So if you want to donate to a personal family in a personal town, ask around your community. Say, hey, who is a Ukrainian family and what do they need? Maybe it's baby formula. Maybe it is diapers. I know it's hard to ship things over there, but there are companies such as Misk, which is a Ukrainian shipping company, that are sending things over there for free. And we've definitely donated a lot of stuff like baby formula, dry baby formula over there. So ask around your town. See who needs something. Because you never know, it might be your next door neighbor. Next is share these videos. Every single dollar I've been making on my YouTube channel has been donated to Ukraine. What they're going through right now is so much more than what I'm going through. You know, we kind of have first world problems over here, and they're going through problems that you can't even fathom. The next thing you can do is on Monday, April 18th, here in Wildwood, we're actually putting together a walkathon where you can donate a little bit of money and we're going to walk around the track at the Burn Community Center. And that's for a great cause as well. Make sure you wear your blue and your yellow. And I'll have more information for that in the description of this video. We're looking for sponsors right now, which you can sponsor for $100 and have your name on the banner. And or you could just donate a little bit of money and just kind of walk around the track. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try to make it out there. So hopefully you guys can make it out there too. And lastly, what else can you do? Pray. The biggest thing you can do is pray for the Ukrainian people this second. I know, look, I don't want your religion and things like that. But every little prayer does actually help. So I want to thank you guys for joining me and thank you for understanding my weird little schedule. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. Stay safe. See you later. Bye.